Working out on a boat can be quite hard work um, to keep fit on a very, very small space. And you might have a home which has exactly the same issues as we have on boats. So this is a really good get out of the jail free card here. Um, it's called Fast Straps. Fitness Anywhere Suspension Training. And I have made one of these many, many moons ago out of some webbing that my husband has. And um, it's been a lifesaver when I have been unable to get out of the boat, um, especially during quarantine or when I just don't want to go ashore. Um, but it allows you to work out really intensely um, at your own pace uh, wherever you are. So I'm going to show you how to make one of these. You will need webbing, it doesn't need to be this thick, or if you have no webbing, rope will be absolutely fine. If you're using rope, three and a half meters will see you absolutely perfect. And all you need to do is fold it in half, so you've got the two ends exactly together, and you've got your halfway point. At the halfway point, all you have to do is just tie a knot. Now that's going to allow you to tie these anywhere you need to. So whether it's on a mast, um, if you're hanging it off of a wall at home, make sure that that hook is reinforced, otherwise you might pull your wall down. <laughs> the two long pieces, again, you want to make these into foot stirrups. So make sure you've got a good um, amount of room there so that your foot actually fits into it and then practice your bowling because bowling as you know is a wonderful knot that you can always undo but it won't slip and it will keep your foot nice and safe so there's one side were you impressed how quick i did that bowling <laughs> years of practice i can tell you let's see if i can do the other one just as quick probably not yeah i think i can yeah so you want them to stay tight so that that stays in the tank. There you go. And that is it. That is all there is to it. That's if you've got a rope. So you're good to go with that straight away. If you're using webbing, get your needle and thread out. And again, you just mark it off halfway. Um, we had some hardware, so I've made ours quite posh, but you don't need them. You just need the loop that you've got in your rope in your webbing so you just measure it out and stitch I've done two lines of stitch in there I haven't used cotton I've actually used sail thread um, because it's strong and I'm quite a weighty um, and then at the bottom again measure out your feet stirrups and put two come back on yourself and again just stitch two lines both sides so they're exactly the same distance apart. Now I've put a couple of grommets in here because that allows me a bit of flexibility. If I haven't got any space or if I want to work a little bit easier I can fit, make these my new fixed points. So I use a carabiner and you can just pop the carabiner into the two grommets and then that's your new fixed point so it makes it really really adaptable for you then you are good to go so I have done a video of all the exercises which you can follow after this after we've made these so that's not all though if you have some bicycle inner tubing <laughs> these are wonderful as you know they're nice and flexible most people have them because you always get punches. You know with the exercises you can do with these. But on these wonderful fast straps, if you just go to the feet stirrups, nothing more technical than just literally just lassoing it on like that. And it just adds a really new dimension to your workout. Now you can put this on a halyard then and hoik it up to the top of your mask long strap to work from which is really or you can use one of your fixed things here with the carabiner to shorten it 
so that it's at your normal length. And what it will do is it will add a lot more intensity to your workout, but it also has that little bit of spring. So you know where, for example, if you're doing a plank and your legs are slightly moving because you're in suspension, and then the boat is slightly moving as well, so you're really using your muscles intensely to keep your position. Well, having the elastic on it as well means you need even more control. So be careful the first couple of times you use it, but have a lot of fun with it, experiment with it, and see what else you can find on your boat to add to it. As I say, it's just a really, really great intense workout. So if you're not sure of where you are, so you're not sure about how safe it is to go out running, or if there's no other cruisers doing any classes that you can go and visit, or you just want to work out on your boat, you don't want to get off, you know, there's a problem with dinghies or whatever. Just go to your mast. I've got a catch, I have a choice of two masts. How spoiled am I? Um, so just find your fixed point on your boat and give it a go. Um, but most of all, have fun with it. Enjoy the activity.
fall beautifully as well as your legs and also building up a high intensity interval training session. Thank you. 